Okay, here's how we install the latest version of the LAME encoder, which allows Audacity to save captured audio as MP3 tracks. I've set up this um, shortcut here using tinyurl.com, and if we cut and paste that into a browser, um, we can download. Uh, straight from the freecodex.com website. You can see here the lame MP3 encoder 3.97 final. That's the stable version, that's the one we want for Windows XP and Windows Vista. So if I click on that now, now we want to save it and we want to put it on the desktop, uh, which is already selected there. That's good. So we're saving the lame 3.97 archive to the desktop. Let's do that now. Um, let's say open. Pull out. Close. <laughs> okay, so the file that we are interested in is lame underscore enc dot dll. This is the only file out of the archive that we actually need. So if I uh, right mouse click on that and I can select um, extract to specified folder. Now again, I want to put it on the desktop initially. I'm gonna move it in a second. So desktop, okay. And close this down, close the browser down. Okay, so now we have the file lamenc.dll showing on the uh, desktop. Now we want to transfer this into program files audacity folder. So um, open up computer, click on the C drive, click on program files and click on audacity 1.3 beta because we're using Vista and that's the correct version. Okay, now I've already copied Lamech in there, but what I would now do is simply drag it across like this. Move and replace. Okay, so now we have lamech.dll in the program files Audacity 1.3 folder. So next time we start up Audacity, it will automatically detect it because it's in the correct folder and it knows to look for it there. So let's do that quickly now. Okay, so go to Edit, Preferences, File Formats, and we can see now MP3 Export Setup, MP3 Library Version, Lame 3.97. So if we click on OK. And that's everything you need to do. So once again, you can download the Lame encoder here. It's a direct shortcut. Or if my shortcut isn't working, you can go to www.free-codex.com and get stable version 3.97 of the Lame MP3 encoder. And that's how we get Lame installed. Thank you. Okay, I've disconnected the microphone and attached um, an audio uh, music player to uh, my laptop PC uh, via the microphone in socket and I've just recorded this short sample with Audacity. Um, I did this by going to the red record button, press that and then this timeline starts to move across and grab samples of the um, audio coming in through the microphone socket. When I wanted to stop it, I press the yellow square button, stop. Um, and now I can see what I've got by clicking anywhere on this timeline, which we can move about by scrolling here. Um, so I'll click at the start and press play. Okay, so 
can see that um, it's not quite as loud as it could be it should almost fill these uh, these gaps so maybe I could record it with slightly more volume um, but basically that's clearish recording um, right so if you've recorded the whole side of an album um, on this single track you'll want to export each part of it as a separate track and this is how you do that um, you can zoom in and out using the zoom tool here click that now and if you click the left mouse button you can zoom in so you can get closer and conversely if you press the right mouse button you can zoom out on the timeline so say one side of your album is 30 minutes um, you could zoom all the way down you can see five minutes on the timeline now and you would in effect have a track here and then a break and then another track and then a break and then another track then a break and what we can do is we can click on this selection tool here and highlight using the left mouse button part of the recording and then we can go to file and export selection um, and then we can either export it as a uh, WAV file which we'll use for burning an audio CD or we can export it as an MP3 which we'll use on an iPod or a mobile phone so if we click on export selection and then we can give it a name test 2 and pay attention to where we're saving it as well so it's saying save in desktop so if you put it on the desktop it's easy enough to find it'll be over here somewhere okay and we're going to call it um, we're going to call it a WAV file because we're going to save it to a CD um, shortly okay so we're saving test2.wav and click save okay I can see that this has been uh, put on the desktop test2.wav okay now we'll quit out of audacity and in a moment I'll show you how to burn this to a CD okay so I've installed the infra recorder application from the uh, CD that comes with the kit and here it is running on the screen now I'm very quickly going to show you how we make a standard audio CD which you can play in your car or your hi-fi it's slightly different from burning a computer uh, data CD so if you go to file a new project and select audio CD okay um, and now we need to uh, drag some tracks um, from a folder on our hard drive into this window down here at the bottom um, and you can probably get about 20 tracks onto a standard CD if they're three minute songs um, <clears throat> okay so I want to be on the desktop I'll scroll down and try and find the file test 2 which we made before okay so there's a smaller one called test we'll drag that down and we've got another one called test 2 in fact we can't use that one because it's an mp3 so we can only burn WAV files to the CD that's important to remember okay if you now go to actions and um, burn compilation to a compact disc and as long as you've got a CD writer in your um, PC laptop desktop um, you will now be allowed to uh, burn the tracks to the disc and um, it's important to do session at once if you do track at once it won't close the CD properly and then it won't play in your household audio CD player so make it session at once um, when you're happy with that and you've got all the tracks that you require in this pane here you can click OK and then it will burn the disc